All right, everyone, and this is a moment a lot of you have been waiting for. Welcome to our little bit of an animal review for the good old Safari Pack. Now, in the last episode, we covered all of the props. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, definitely do check it out. This is probably the highlight of the pack over here, but of course, we're going to jump right into the animals today, and we're going to start it off with one of the biggest ones in the pack right here. We have the African Forest Elephant. Now, I know a lot of these guys have been seen in the previous mod showcases, but I just wanted to put a highlight on these specific ones just because they all deserve it. So, of course, the African Forest Elephant is the smaller relative of the African Bush Elephant. These guys are beautiful, they're big, and the bulls have these beautiful beautiful tusks they seem kind of like to be you know they could use a little bit of a cleaning which is kind of interesting i just really do love these guys they aren't really common in captivity and you're gonna notice with that with a lot of the mods that we have this week but of course they are so beautiful and represent the beautiful beautiful forests of the congo perfectly so if you guys are interested in those definitely do check out this pack and that's going to be the same with everything so that one was made by nick coded by me and moving on, we are going to check out the Rowan Antelope. Now, this is one of Bongo Hardwood's first mods. And if you guys remember Bongo Hardwood, he's that crazy guy who made all those beautiful birds and the such. But these guys are so beautiful. I'm so happy that they're part of this pack. They just have the most interesting coloration. They kind of remind me of like pronghorns a little bit. Not sure why. Maybe it's just like the way that the face markings are kind of made. But they are so beautiful without a doubt. So moving on, we have our Mountain Gorillas. Now these guys are personal favorites of mine. So Nick made the model for all of these. He made the textures for all of these. And they are absolutely swankalicious. And I'll tell you what, I've completely forgot to allow animals to kind of like, you know, have a little bit of fun time with themselves. So we're going to allow that and hopefully we can get some babies going forward. But the mountain gorilla is so beautiful. So it is a very rare species of gorilla. I believe this is the western mountain gorilla. If I'm being completely pa if I'm being completely honest, I don't really know. We really didn't settle on a subspecies of it, but they are still really cool nonetheless. And they have these beautiful beautiful heads. I don't know. They just seem so badass. I love them. Now moving on from there, we also have the North African Ostrich. We just covered these guys this week. So they are different from the common ostrich, be it that the females are a lot more gray and the males have these beautiful bright colorations to them. I was so happy that he allowed me to let these be part of the pack because I know Nick really isn't the biggest fan of, you know, these retextures and these subspecies and whatnot, but they are visually distinct enough to the fact where I feel like it's a little bit allowable. So moving on, my friends, we are going to take a little trip over here, and I believe these are the Grant's Gazelles. Yes! So this was made originally by Fnatic, updated by me, and these guys are now available once again in 1.6 via the Safari Pack only. So these guys are so beautiful. I love their uh, antelopes. I was about to say antelopes. Their um, horns over here, they just look so majestic. I don't know. Like head on, you don't really seem too impressed by them. But from the side, they're even even—they're about twice as large as their heads, which is absolutely amazing to see. So if you guys are interested in doing some nice big open prairies, Phonetics got you covered. And moving on, we have the Impala. So this is the same thing. This is done by Phonetic as well. And these guys are absolutely beautiful. And I'll tell you what, I completely forgot about the Dama Gazelle. So I'm just going to buy a couple of those and place them down. Uh, we're actually just going to get one just to show it off. And of course, I have every single mod installed currently. So it does take a little bit for things to load, so that's a little bit of a sad, sad story over there. But we can get through it. We can certainly muscle the power to get through it all. Uh, where are we going to end up soon? I'll tell you what. We'll throw them in there. I'm not really sure what else is in there, but we'll be in there for a pretty, pretty happy surprise soon. So, of course, the Impala is your typical African antelope. It is beautiful. It will certainly even out like any large African areas. Again, they're so beautiful. 
I don't know, Fnatic did an amazing job on them. Fnatic has been killing it with all the antelopes. Now over here, we have a bit of a small little fella. So this is the Jenkins Duiker. And you guys are getting a little bit of a sneak preview of this because, you know, it's gonna, you know, we're gonna have our mod showcase as per usual on Sunday. And these guys are so beautiful. So my buddy Dill actually brought these guys to my attention. And they're so cool. I mean, look at the beautiful coloration on these guys. They have like this blue head. They have like this kind of like slate looking body. And it ha it's separated by this beautiful like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you call that. Maybe like a white gradient? I don't know. But they're so beautiful, and they are a rare kind of species of Duikers. Duiker. Duiker? Dunker? I don't even know. I'm gonna be yelled at in the comments regardless, so definitely do check these guys out. If you are working on sort of like a, I don't know, maybe like an African zoo, and like these guys are easy to be sourced from over there. I don't know, it's very interesting, and I'm excited to see what you guys have in mind. So of course... We have this little guy right here. I know a lot of you guys know about this guy. He does not care. He does not give a shit. This is the Honey Badger by Level Wolf. So unfortunately, Level Wolf has not been with the community for some time, but she was able to generously donate the Honey Badger a very long time ago. And me and Nick were able to rectify it into being its very own species. And it looks so amazing. So definitely do check the pack out. This is another exclusive. These guys are also known as the Rattel. And yeah, I don't know. Just very, very interesting creature over here. They are savage AF. So moving on from there. So we are going to visit our good friend, the Fusa. Yes! So you guys may know Madagascar. The Fusa are attacking. And yes, they are attacking my heart right now. Because, oh my god, they make it beat so much. I love these guys so much. They look like an official frontier animal. Jen did such an amazing job with these. I'm just so floored with them. And of course, they have the, like they have such beautiful like coloration variants. It is so amazing how she was able to achieve this. I love these guys so much. So if you guys are interested in getting the largest Madagascan predator definitely do check those guys out and of course the dama gazelle by phonetic i apologize for not already having these guys preloaded. i know i probably skipped one or two mods and i do apologize if i did um i just had my list and i tried my best to get them all but of course these guys are beautiful uh, i know exactly what i'm missing actually um missing the vulturing guinea fowl so of course the dama gazelle let's talk a little bit about them they're a little bit more of a saharan antelope um Vulturine guinea fowl, please. Thank you very much. So they are a little bit more of a desert animal. They certainly look the part because they do have that kind of coloration. And a lot of animals kind of build their coloration through like, you know, many years of evolving to kind of fit the environments that they live in. Screw it. You can go right there. Um... And of course it takes forever because again, I have every single species installed right now for certain reasons. But of course, these guys are wonderful and they are joined here. Oh, how wonderful, the Ethiopian wolf. So the Ethiopian wolf was done by my good buddy Narwhaler, that Spanish son of a bitch. And these guys are so beautiful. So if you are interested in a very iconic canine from Africa, these guys have absolutely got you covered i love them so much they have like the most distinct coloration and it looks so beautiful i am so happy with these guys and i just can't wait to build for them soon and now over here we are going to visit our friend the drill so these guys are coming in this sunday showcase as well these guys are absolutely beautiful they are just such wonderful creatures so they are related to the mandrill the main defining characteristic that separates them is that they're a lot more grayscale so this is the mandrill before colored pictures were invented you know and they also have this little bit of a pink thing under their lips i will be updating that soon enough to be a little bit more brighter because they are brighter in real life but yeah these guys are so cool and of course the female is different as well so i did that all custom i love making monkeys guys i'm gonna be making a lot more monkeys hopefully for the 1.1 update of the safari pack just because i'm having so much fun with them i want to do a vervet soon and just help you guys all out with that so that one was made by me and now we are moving on to one made by j2 bex our good friend from long ago 
So of course we have the Somali wild ass. And of course this guy is still one of my absolute favorites. They are so beautiful. I love the texturing on them. And I love the little texturing on the legs as well. That's pretty much the defining characteristic of them. So they kind of do have these like kind of zebra patternings on those legs over there. They're just such beautiful, beautiful creatures. I love them. So moving on, here are vulturing guinea fowls. I know you guys remember these. So these guys are a species of guinea fowl that inhabit Africa. I know they're pretty famous from like the circle of life sequence and I love their beautiful coloring. So this is before I actually knew how to actually texture, but I'm still pretty floored with how well I was able to get this to work. I don't know. Like it, it, they just have like this distinct feathering to them and it looks so amazing. And they are joined by the Debraza's monkey. I love how I have the, um, I have the Monopoly over there and over here. So these guys are also known as the Depression Monkey only by me because they constantly have this little sad look to them. And they have these beautiful diamonds on their forehead and a beautiful white beard. I just love these guys so much. They're so cute. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this little colorful monkey, they are included in the safari pack and we are going to visit our good friend bongo hardwood once again with the common water buck now these guys are so beautiful i love their butts because okay you take that out of context but they kind of look like upside down hearts um i don't know it's just very very interesting they're so iconic i love these guys they are one of our other uh, water dwelling antelopes in the pack over here. They're so beautiful. I love the gray texture on them. Bongo just. I want Bongo to get back into Artiodactyls because he always does such an amazing job at them. And now moving on, what do we have over here? We have the Blue Wildebeest by Jen, aka Bubbly Ones. You guys know how much I love this one. You know how much everyone loves this one. These guys are so beautiful. They're iconic, and they're a lot more common than the actual Black Wildebeest that we have in-game. I'm just such a big fan of these guys. They are so freaking beautiful. And moving on from there, we have the African Leopard. So yes, this is one of our big five over here, and they are so iconic. I believe this one was done by Gaboy, MGR, and Havoc, and these guys are so beautiful. Of course, we have the Black Leopard as well. But yeah, these guys are absolutely beautiful creatures. I love them so much. They really aren't too common in zoos, but you know, this is all a game after all. So you can, you can do away with your heart's content and put whatever you want into your own zoos. And moving on, Narwhaler just cannot leave us alone. We have the Addix. Yes, we have the Addicts. I almost thought we crashed right there. That would have been bad. But yeah, these guys, you guys may know these guys from Zoo Tycoon. They were like that only one DLC animal. But these guys are absolutely iconic. I love their spiral horns. They are extremely, extremely endangered. So these guys are very like finicky in terms of the populations, but they are still beautiful nonetheless. So moving on from there, we have our beautiful little aardwolves and I love these guys so much look at the babies they have these little grimaces to them and I don't know just such a beautiful creature nonetheless I love them I really do love them so much let's plop one down so we could actually look at it I love them they just seem so evil and you know what I'm thinking that we don't actually have any striped hyenas in here now that I'm thinking of hyenas, so I am just going to adopt one again. We are going to take the precious time out of my schedule and adopt one. So if I look up striped, we can adopt one, and we can adopt another, and we can plop these guys down, eh, somewhere down the line. I don't know, we can plop them in that one. If, it, if it's a prey, it's totally fine. They won't kill each other. It's okay. But anyways, we have the African Spur Tortoise up next, and these guys are one of our only reptiles in the pack so far, but these guys are so cool. So they're the third largest tortoise on the world, and they are so freaking beautiful. They were a pain in my butt to code, um, so definitely do love these guys, appreciate these guys, and give them the love that they deserve, because they are extremely iconic. I love them so much. And they have these like deep breathing noises. I'm like, it's like I want to do yoga with them. So moving on from there, what do we have in here? I believe these are the zebra duikers. So this was redone by Mark, 
originally made by me with the original model by Sib. And these guys are absolutely iconic. So these guys are named Zebra Duikers because of the classic zebra patternings and stripes on their backs. They're quite, quite iconic. And I don't know, not really common in Zeus once again, but still absolutely beautiful. I don't know, I just love all the different gradients that they have going on over there. It really is so amazing. And moving on, who do we have right here? We do have the Barberry Macaque by, I believe, Gaboy and Giorno Pizza. Do correct me if I'm wrong, but these guys are really beautiful. So they are also known as the only European monkey, as they only inhabit Gibraltar. But these guys are really cool. So they are found in Northern Africa. They are really iconic. I love their little faces. So if you guys are interested in any more African primates, these guys are the way to go. Now moving on, who do we have over here? We have the black and white ruffed lemur, just a classic black and white ruffed. None of those fancy subspecies. These guys are the nominates. So these guys are absolutely iconic. They are quite literally the best animal in the pack just because they work so well. You guys have to play with these guys. They are so wonderful. I love the lemurs so much. Originally made by Nick, coded by me after quite literally such painstaking efforts. And now moving on, we also have the Bat-Eared Fox by Jen. And these guys are so beautiful. They're so funny looking. I love their scrunched up faces. Oh my god, look at them go. I love them so much. So amazing job to Jen on that. And I believe there are striped hyenas, yes. So again, once again, done by Jen. You guys have seen these back in like Leafs Oasis. You guys have seen these everywhere. They're iconic. They're beautiful. And they're some of Jen's best work in my opinion. They are so freaking spectacular now moving on my friends we are going to pop in this one and we have the tree pangolin otherwise known as a white bellied pangolin texture made by nick of course and they are so spectacular they're just a tiny african pangolin and i think they're pretty neat so if you're hoping to flesh out those small mammal houses these guys are certainly the way to go and we still have a lot more to go, my friends. But of course, we have to stop right over here into the Congo once again and check out the Wolf's Gwenin. Now, these guys are so beautiful. They are so colorful as well. I love all the coloring on them. And they're just such iconic little monkeys. So if you guys are hoping to add a little bit of color to your zoos, these guys are the way to go. Originally made by Nick and coded by me, these guys are absolutely such a wonderful additions to your zoos. And now moving on, we have Caracal. Yeah, so you guys may know Big Flop, but these guys are so iconic. Are made by Gaboy, I believe. Just Gaboy, maybe Giorno Pizza. But these guys are so beautiful. I love their little ears. They remind me of Lynx. And yes, I love them so much. All right, guys, sorry about that. Not sure what happened right there, but we are continuing on. And we have probably one of my favorite ones in this entire pack. Very simple mod, but very necessary. We have the Dromedary Camel. Now, you guys may remember this one. Check them out while they breed. It's very hot stuff. Um, You'd even say they're humping. Oh my god, that's awful. But anyways, these guys were originally made by Nick. Actually, these are all made by Nick, yeah. So, these guys are so beautiful. If you guys are hoping to get some nice dromedary action in there, that is the way to go. Unfortunately, these are not famous Planet Zoo YouTuber Rudy Renkimal. These are just normal camels, but still very cool nonetheless. And so, moving on, we have a beautiful, beautiful black rhino. Now, this one was just recently released. Again, you'll see this one on Sunday. But this one is a beautiful new model for the black rhino. You guys may know that we kind of have a little bit of a disdain towards the other Black Rhino mod, but this guy is just a lot better. I love how well he looks. He is such a handsome little lad. I don't know. I'm not really too keen on my rhinos, but I know a damn good rhino when I see it, and these guys are so freaking spectacular with that. I believe they were originally ported from Zoo Tycoon 3, and they look absolutely amazing in Planet Zoo. They just fit the art style so well. So if you guys are interested in getting some more rhinos, definitely do check those guys out. Now moving on from there, what do we have in this big ol' exhibit right here? I don't even think we have anything. Is this even an exhibit? 
Hello? There is nothing in there. All right, we're doing great today. Dick Dick. Oh my god, look at this unsolicited Dick Dick. So yes, this one was originally made by Jen, aka Bubbly Wums, and I love them so much. So these guys are your classic little, like, they're kind of related to the Clip Springer, but they have like these little weird noses. I don't know, they just seem so cute. I'm just such a big fan of them. They're perfect for like any small African section, especially like hilly African sections. If you're doing like a nice big build with the Kopi Rocks, these guys are so perfect for that. And with them is the beautiful Sitatunga by, I believe this one was by Phonetic, yes. So these guys are such wonderful creatures. So they are one of the only sort of like mainline water antelopes. So you would see these guys wading in the water a lot. And I just think that gives them so much character. So let's actually get rid of this tree so we can see the male. Because I just love how well he looks. But yeah, these guys have such beautiful colorations. Ignore all the scars on this boy. He's been through some fights. But um, no, I just really do love these guys. The Africa pack alone is really helping me appreciate so much more of the African fauna. And, you know, for a continent that was often like, yeah, it's cool. But this pack really does help to sell like how badass a lot of these creatures are. So if you guys are interested in getting the Sidatunga for your zoos, this is the way to go. And of course, we also have the Maasai Giraffe. These guys are beautiful. They stand triumphantly over the crowd. They were made by Nick, coded by me, and they are so freaking beautiful. I love them so much. I love the coloration on them because it feels like slightly orangish. And I don't know, it just seems really cool from afar because it has this weird optical illusion kind of effect. But yeah, these guys are so beautiful. They are the first giraffe new mod, so they are absolutely spectacular. I love them so much. And that is all that we have today. I think there's just a few more that we're missing. For example, I believe the Arabian Oryx is one of the only ones I didn't put in. So let's actually AR, AB. And there we go. So there's also the Arabian Orcs in there as well. They are such beautiful creatures, originally made by J2Bex. But yeah, they are wonderful indeed. They're just a gem spock. If you just imagine like a white gem spock, you can see it right there. But anyways, that is it for most of these, I believe. I'm pretty sure I had a cut recording in the middle, so I think I covered everything. But anyways, guys, do let me know what you think. Do let me know what your favorites were, because, I don't know, there's just so many awesome things in here that, you know, it, the fun never stops with all of this. There's our wolves. I believe the caracal should be in here. And yeah, they are. But yeah, definitely do let me know what your guys' favorites are. Look at the babies. Okay, we're going to look at all the babies right now. Look at the baby caracal. It's so cute. I love their little noises. Oh my god. Um, let's see who else we can find. You know what? We're going to have a little bit of fun with this. Look at the baby wolf Gwenin. It's so cute. I love how, like, I don't know. He just has such a funny looking face. He's adorable. And I don't know, there's just so many other awesome things. Let's check out the baby pangolin. And I think it's actually going to be a giant one. So that kind of... Oh no, it's about the same size. That actually works out pretty well. Um, who else do we have? Who else has had offspring? Let's check out the African leopards. I believe we should be able to see a baby black leopard. Oh my god, that is too cute. And look at the normal baby over here. Still absolutely adorable. Look at the little paws. Oh my god, he is such a little nugget. And of course, we have the baby Ardwolves, which we saw before. The tortoises are all the same. We did not want to do <laughs> more models for them than we actually had to. But um, Zebra Duikers are the same as well. They are absolutely adorable. Actually, I think these guys are new models. Yeah, these guys are new, but they're not too different, so that's pretty neat. But anyways, guys, we're gonna end it. Hopefully we can see one of the baby elephants because they're my absolute favorites. And maybe we can end it on the elephant. We'll end it where we started. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the Safari Pack. I will have a video out, hopefully today, on how to install the entire Safari Pack because I do understand that there are a few issues going around with people not knowing how to install mods, people who really aren't part of the community that often trying to get into this. So I will try and make it as easy as possible for all of you guys. Thank
thank you guys so much for watching nonetheless if you guys did enjoy this do make sure to drop a like do make sure to drop a comment let me know your favorite in the pack mine's definitely the african forest i'm sorry i know it was a dromedary camel like five minutes ago but the african forest just makes me so happy but anyways guys don't forget to subscribe too really do help me out and subscribe to nick too he's almost at 5k which is going to be absolutely amazing but anyways guys i am out of here i hope you all have the most wonderful of wonderful days take care and bye bye